kindness and encouragement during this journey. We will forever remain grateful for his support. Good morning, everybody. Our uh, chairman, uh, how happy to be among you all. I've seen this place uh, supporting them. Since then, I've been amazed at the imagination and enterprise. This is the first batch. Uh, I'm proud to think to establish a college in this campus. I different permissions of opening colleges to me. And these are all reason then. And so It's always there, the picture of the first batch. Uh, even after 50 years, a lot of research center is, is an, a world-class center of excellence. It, it's got, it's a nice day. Enjoy yourself. Thank you. FGI College of Agricultural Sciences, Girls Hostel at Fitz Campus, Hengbung Manipur, inaugurated by Dr. Raskumar Ranjan Singh, Honorable Member of Parliament, Lok Sabha, on 12 December 2020, in presence of Sri Hakulai Kibian, Chairman Fitz Group, Group of Institutions, dedicated by Reverend Lakhotong Hakim. Thank you. The print and electronic media, staff of FGI, EMRC, ORDC, gave us a this function, his wife and respected members of the Board of Management. I'm honored to have been given the privilege to speak before this honor. It was established in the year 2019, and thus the long cherished dream of Ms. Aukulet Kipgen's kindness and encouragement during this journey. We will forever remain grateful for his support. Solely through the dedication and commitment of the chairman, who is the founder and patron, that this vision turned into reality. The objective of the FGI is to impart high and forestry. It is a completely residential college. The college has teaching staff. I would also like to mention that we have the most dedicated and committed teaching and administrative staff. I'm delighted that we are to the students of the FGI. We hope that the students staying at the hostel, the faculty and students in saying, we are so glad you decided to join us today. And we seek your blessings for the ventures. Nupilan. Today is the Nupilan in the history of Manipur and the girls hostel being inaugurated today. I think it is a very, very appropriate day. I congratulate. I congratulate the management, particularly the president, chairman. I also wish to say that in the biodiversity hotspot of our region, more and more research, studies and, and also 
educational fields and field of agriculture will admitted in the first year this year. A very, very happy stay and pursuit of knowledge. Lastly, I would like to wish each one of you, though it's a little early, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Thank you. Uh, give my respect to all the VIPs and my brothers and sisters gathering here. And again, recapping those experiences, twists in my college life. And uh, it is up to you or the young generation to be explored whatever we have in there, in Manipur. Nobody can penetrate in Manipur. We have many resources which are unexplored. It is up to you, only we Manipuri, or we the people of the, this state, only can find out which are available in this state only. And uh, so nobody knows but we have those such rich resources, so they say that Manipur is not much developed. Nobody knows this eastern part of the Manipur, but we must try to explore ourselves, and to stand ourselves, and to flourish among the world, what we have. And that's all. The young generation and the young scientists, it is your duty to find out whatever we have got and uh, to uh, flourish it in the world. And that this must, my word, thank you very much among you all after a long time of the, my college life. Thank you very much. Uh, give my respect to all the VIPs and my brothers and sisters gathering here. And again, recapping those experiences, twists in my college life. And uh, it is up to you or the young generation to be explored whatever we have in there, in Manipur. Nobody can penetrate in Manipur, we have many resources which are unexplored. It is up to you, only we Manipuri, or we the people of the, this state, only can find out which are available in this state only. And uh, so nobody knows, but we have those such rich resources, so they say that Manipur is not much develop, nobody knows this eastern part of the Manipur, but we must try to explore ourselves, to stand ourselves, and to flourish among the world, what we have. And that's so all, the young generation and the young scientists, that it is your duty to find out whatever we have got and to uh, flourish it in the world, and that this must, my word, thank you very much among you all after a long time of the, my college life. Thank you very much. The College of Agricultural Science, and as stated by our respected Lieutenant General, Dr. Konsum Himalaya Singh, this, today is the one of the most auspicious day and most historic day also to show the empower of the women throughout the world against the British regime. And so this is on this special occasion the a girls' college uh, hostel is inaugurating with the organization of the kids group of institutions. On this members, Board of Management, and Sri W.M. Hansen, uh, Chief Commissioner, Government of India, as a Board of manager, uh, Management, and also Lokon Saikya, Professor Lokon Saikya, Director in charge of the 
Fitz Group of Institution and also a special guest, Consum Barun Singh I respect all the dignitaries in the ties, including Srimati Tehra Devi. I recall back uh, in the year, most probably 1984 or 1987, when we were active as a member of the All India National Movement on People's Science, popularly known as Bharat Jana Vigyan Jatha, headed by the then chairman of University Grants Commission, Professor Yospal. Perhaps Professor Yospal was quite popular if you happen to see the science serial on Dugasam, that is uh, the turning point, and that was headed and directed by the Professor Yospal Singh. Under his guidance, we organized science movement in Manipur, traveling all throughout the uh, knock and corner of our steps to popularize science. That time, we also organized one national seminar called Alternative to Zoom Cultivation of the Northeastern India. In that, and that was the moment I met Mr. Hartlett again. And he invited us to visit his handbook. And that time, he was so famous for floriculture and other value-added uh, the cash crop like Tradaon, and even that the cultivation was introduced in his campus. And we were so astonished to see his campus. In a hill, all the hill areas were barren and deserted. And the whole ecosystem was crumbled down in different parts of the hills. But I saw here in Hanbong the well protected ecosystem, growing green vegetables, and in the midst of that green vegetables, he cultivated different kinds of economically valuable species. Sometimes I was in search of the college, and ultimately my tenure was over for register. I switched on to the College Development Council for one year. That was most probably 2008 or 2009. And Bullet, uh, how could it again frequently visit to my room and also we discuss about the establishment of a typical kind of institutions, particularly uh, suitable in the field ranges of the state of Manipur. Myanmar is put under Indo Burma Mega Biodiversity Hotspot. That means we have a maximum number of endemic species, either in the plant, or in the uh, epifauna, or in the fishes, or in the animals. There are lots of varieties, but we are, those species were at danger now. And so under such circumstances, to conserve our native species, even in the rice, or in different kind of medicinal plant, that has to be properly identified and documented in the scientific realms. Only when we could identify the values of those species available in our in this part of our country, and then we may able to strengthen our young, young students with the empowerment of exploring the elements of nature, whatever available in our state, and to be propagated in a different way. And this is one of the most important colleagues why our Honorable Prime Minister, Sri Narendra Modi, would like to develop our agriculture system. And also he announced the double the income of the farmers of the country. And also he passed, under his leadership, we passed tree farm bill also to provide maximum health, maximum profit, maximum benefits to our peasants. So to gain this objective, we need an institution like 
College of Agriculture and Science, particularly in the hilly region of Northeast India, and more specifically in the state of Manipur. Uh, I think this is one of the most important, uh, the specific college located and sponsored by the FITS group of institutions, and this will provide the needs of the future generations and needs of the peoples of the Northeast India, and then we can contribute uh, for the country as a whole. I wish the college success and I hope this opening of college certainly will provide the scopes for thinking and exploring and also doing research, staying in this highly sophisticated, not in, uh, not in mechanical, highly necessarily sophisticated institutions. You have all the complex either for orchids or medicinal plants or different species has already collected and experimented and also you are having the uh, Kendra, Krishi Kendra, Vigyan Kendra also here. So this is one of the most important and significant institutions uh, exploring all the complexes of institutions located here. With this new work, once again, I wish a grand success of the institution and be able to provide the ample scopes to our future peoples and also to uh, the police, hostel, the comfortable. Thank you very much.